So, what did I do if I didn't go to the water park? Well, hello there. I am Brittany Edwards, and you are probably wondering what in my great grandmammy's cornfield would bring me to go to Wisconsin. Well, I'll have you know that it is the home of America's largest water park, and I, my dear friend, love water parks. What else might you be wondering? Oh, right! You're also probably wondering what would actually possess me to make a vlog about Wisconsin. Well, it was supposed to be a very exciting trip. However, the weather had other plans, and as you know, when life gives you lemons, you make lemon cheese. Pretty sure that's the Wisconsin version. Anyways, even though I didn't get to go to the water park, I still had a pretty splendid first time in Madison. Aesthetically, it's giving very DC. And I'm not just saying that because you guys all both have massive white buildings in the center. Okay, hold on. Wisconsin is really showing out today. I wish you showed out the day that I was supposed to go to the water park, but no hard feelings. <sighs> But just like the way that the little city area was set up and like, you know, the little, it's very much so understanding the assignment of underrated Midwest cities. And I did not have business being in the Supreme Court, but it was really cute there. And, <clears throat> oh gosh, went out to the observation deck, that's the English of the East word, and it was just really cool to see, you know, the little city yeah. views or whatever. You know, I'll say that's the one really, really good thing about Florida, is that even if it rains, it's going to stop within like a good five to three seconds. Like other states, that that's not the purpose. Like when it rains, it's an all day affair. You have to write it down in your calendar. And like, that's not the life that I'm accustomed to living. I'm used to being spoiled by this flaky rain. That's what it is. Oh my gosh. Speaking of flaky rain, it started hailing while I was driving. And I mean, under normal circumstances, I'd still be a little bit like, uh, but it was extra terrifying because I'm not driving my car, okay? Like, I was using a rental, and if one of those hail pieces knocks, hits, breaks glass, whatever, that would be the most displeasant, unfortunate situation of my life. Nah, there's probably more unfortunate. Anyways, moral of the story is that was terrifying and I'm glad that it didn't happen. Um, but also if it was just casually hailing, then I'm sure that that could have happened at the water park, which also would not have been fun. Just all around Wisconsin was telling me to leave, except for the first day with those cotton candy skies. It was really nice. So, what did I do if I didn't go to the water park? Well, as you know from my Chicago vlog, I am a frequent Dollar Treeer. <gasps> love that place and I get super excited when I see them in other places because you never know what you're gonna find in there I absolutely love spontaneity and stumbling across things dee 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 dee, Dollar Tree so that was super exciting to see that there was a Dollar Tree there stopped in and it was absolute disappointment so when I have all of these disappointments what does a girl do she follows her stomach to Cinnabon I am High key, a Cinnabon TM connoisseur. Unfortunately, the Cinnabon was another disappointment. <sighs> Cinnabon is kind of like the tiramisu to my Kelly stamps. Speaking of Kelly stamps, if you're familiar with the homegirl, she is absolutely in love with Italy. So clearly, you know, I'm curious. I like food. The word eat is in the name, so of course I'm going to check it out, right? And I went to the one in Chicago. Oh my gosh, that place is like Ikea for food. It's amazing. But, you know, historically, I don't really have a lot of interactions with Italian food, so it didn't really like hit hard for me. I was like, yo, if there was an East Asian Italy, I would be like, ah, I'd be so excited. Guess what your girl stumbled into? A Japanese Italy! Okay, it's not actually called Italy, it's called like Mitsua Market. <laughs> it's like Japanese Italy. 
That is so exciting. Look at it. Oh my gosh, it was just so exciting because that's literally exactly what I was wanting and hoping for and the way that I found it was because I've been so disappointed, disrespected, and displeased with the ramens that I've had in America, specifically Chicago because I don't think I've had ramen in any other state. It is literally always a disappointment. There was one ramen that it was so serendipitous like the day before we met people and they were like oh you should go to ramen wasabi and then the next day this friend of ours was like last minute hey we have an extra comedy show ticket you want to come so blah 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 we go there and then his friend was like hey we should go to this ramen place ramen wasabi i was like yo what i literally heard about this place yesterday like that is so crazy so we went there and oh my gosh, it was incredible. It's the best ramen that I've had in all of Chicago, all of America, I can also say that fairly. Um, tonkatsu broth was amazing. It actually also came with the soft boiled egg, unlike these disrespectful people with a whole 16 minute boiled egg in my soup. Not okay. Reason why 16 minute egg is not okay is because once the yolk is fully like set, it has this grainy consistency and when you're having that grainy firmness with liquid broth it just does not it's not a good culinary experience so that we need a soft boiled egg because it's like jammy and smooth and then it just mixes in really well with the broth if you're in chicago and you haven't already ramen wasabi is your spot okay After that experience, I was like, oh my gosh, I really need to get some ramen again, and it also needs to be not so far inconvenient to get to. I looked up, you know, best ramen in Chicago, article, listicle, whatever you want to call it. And this place came up, and it was like, oh, it's in this Japanese marketplace. I said, uh, where? Uh, who? And I looked it up, and it's basically, you know, like, it has this, it's this grocery store, and it also has like uh, vendors inside, restaurants, they have the bakeries, there's a Japanese stationery store, bookstore, like, oh, it's just, it was hitting all of my feels, like, you know, very reminiscent of living in Taiwan, and it was just, it was a nice time. I don't necessarily think that it like, you know, replaced the water park. Full disclaimer, I bought these tickets back in December. This water park has literally been on my mind since December. That's almost 12 months that this dream has been building up before it was so rudely squashed by thunderstorms. But I found this hair product there that I loved when I was in Japan and I was like, ah, this is so cool. So that was nice. Oh, that one's also in Chicago, not Wisconsin. So this is kind of like half Wisconsin, half Chicago, but it's it was the whole trip that was supposed to be Wisconsin and what happened. So we hit it on the way back and in a non-violent way. Um, what else happened? Hey, this is pretty good. A matcha tiramisu. I think this is red bean at the bottom. Wait a second. This was done. It is red bean at the bottom. Baby, you gotta try this. Why are you breathing so hard? Right? That's a bopper. It's a chopper. It's just so unfortunate because you can't really sporadically plan to go to a water park in another state. Like, you know, like checking the weather day up, and you really gotta plan it in, in advance. So, clearly, the universe just didn't want me to have nice things this month, but I mean, that's okay. There's always next month, or next year, or next life, or next time when you subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you again! Ooh,
that was good. <laughs> Bye.